Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and this is the Edit by DH. Welcome to another video. Today's video is all about the GHD 2-in-1 Duet Styler. This is obviously the finished look. I have tonged it slightly just to give it a bit of wave, um, a bit of movement and zhuzh. But otherwise when you use the GHD normally it's a very straight finish. You will see me with my hair undone in just a bit straight after washing it um, and i will walk you through the steps of how to use it um you will see the final finish with just using the ghds and then i you'll see that i've styled it like this afterwards and at the very end i give you like the pros and cons and what my, i honestly think about this when whether it's a worthwhile investment so i hope you enjoy the video and see you on the other side excuse my shaggy hair so my hair is naturally quite wavy slash curly so say if i like this is i would say semi damp i guess that's the best way to put it but say like if i left it like this without putting any more products in it without doing anything to it it would go very curly or not very curly but slightly curly um but you can already see the curls are coming through and this is my natural hair the thing is and the weird thing is i like to straighten my hair before i re curl it just because how it is right now it's quite a messy wave messy curl i really envy those people who can just sort of like scrunch some product in their hair and it looks like they look like a victoria's secrets model which i don't trust me i am just going to need a few things like sectioning clips so i have a, a comb and what i tend to do is just section my hair I mean it depends like how like where you have your parting so I tend to have mine either more to the right side of my face or like dead center so section your hair however you like obviously I'm assuming you've brushed your hair but just brush through it again now the key to this look is really a lot of brushing you'll see in a minute then what I like to do is just roughly part my hair I'm, I'm going to quarter it if that makes sense. So you want four sections. You don't have to be too neat about this, but make sure it's clearly four sections. So you've got one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to clip this section too, just so that it's out of the way. And then you've got the fourth one here, which you can just keep loose. Now, ideally with the GHD, um duet two in one you want to do it when your hair is quite wet my hair's already starting to dry down a bit which isn't very good but i still wanted to show you how to use it like i said i'm not an expert in using this this is just how i do it so if you really want to invest in this then i would suggest watching other bloggers videos as well to make an informed decision otherwise if you trust me and you like what you see then obviously you can make that purchase and that investment really so like i said i'm gonna this is my section now this is obviously what the thing looks like now i wanted to show you how big it is i have quite a big face i've quite a big head so <laughs> This is quite humongous. One thing I will say before I get into the demo is that the styler is quite heavy. So just bear that in mind if you are somebody, like if that is something that bothers you. There will be a lot of weight to it and the longer you do your hair, obviously the weightier it will feel, if that makes sense. So what you need to be aware of is that there's two buttons. This is the on button, you just slide it up, which I'll do in a second. And then this is the shine shot i think that's what it's called button so firstly i'm going to I'm, I'm talking you through it right now because once it's on you will hear how loud it is and i honestly feel like it's the same sound as you know when you're on the airplane and the plane's about to take off <laughs> that's how it sounds although like it's loud but it isn't i can't i don't know how to explain it it sounds very dramatic the sound but you can still watch a video although i tend to put subtitles on at that point once i turn that on you will hear it sort of fire up as if you're about to take off in a plane and then you have to wait a couple of seconds and then it'll make like a noise that tells you that it's ready i'll indicate it when that happens then you just start going through the hair which you'll see me do and then after i've done all of my hair 
I resection it and then I go in with this, the shine shot. So I will go through all of this again, but I'm just sort of briefly talking you through it so you guys know what I'm about to do, if that makes sense. Okay, so here we go. That means it's on. Now you'll hear the aeroplane engine jet. And then you just wait. It's ready. So it's quite quick. Every single day just stays the same. Wake up, feel the emptiness of fate. Wash away the pain and put some makeup on. So normally I wouldn't uh, turn it off at this point, I would go straight into shine shot. You can switch between the two, so you'd always have to have it on and then switch to the shine shot by pressing the button for like four seconds or something like that. You'll know because it'll make the da -da -da, like high pitch sound. But the reason I'm pausing it now is just because I wanted to talk through what I've done so far. So as you saw, I basically sectioned off all my hair into four sections. Some strands of hair I deliberately brushed through as well just in case to give it more make sure that it's more neater when I'm styling it I guess what you should really do with each section is hold it at the root for three seconds this is what the instruction says and then you go down slowly so you would have saw that I went down very slowly with each strand I think the maximum number of goes you need to go is like four times because my hair is was uh, damp sorry rather than wet I went only over like each section, I think three times, but if my hair's a bit wetter, it, I would go over it like four times, if that makes sense, on each section. And by the way, this works perfectly well with wet hair as well. My hair was pretty wet, by the way. It was, it's just like damp wet rather than wet wet, if that makes sense. Anyway, so my point is, it works better with wet damp hair rather than dry hair i wouldn't i wouldn't use this with dry hair unless you're just using the shine shot element of it and also with each strand like 
it, this glides really well by the way so it's not like you don't feel any dragging or pulling but at this point because i have quite thick and long hair your arm your wrist or arms does start to like ache a little it's not like super painful where you need to like give it a rest and you know stretch it out but it does start to ache a little bit to be honest and just to give an indicator of how long it takes so like i said i've got long and thick hair this part of the styling took me 10 minutes so 10 minutes is nothing to have your hair dried especially with this length dried and straightened to an extent you can see that it straightens a little bit even just with this bit with wait till i get to the shine shot then you'll see it straightens even more but even just this bit alone you can see my hair is straighter than it was in its natural form secondly what you will notice is your hair is quite like shiny from using this one thing i wanted to say is i forgot to actually put heat protectant on it so i would highly recommend heat protectant like obviously ghd will try to sell you their own and they have their own brand and if that's what you want to do go for it but you don't have to use ghd um hair, heat protectant i normally use different ones but currently i'm using one by um i think it's duck and dry the brand and some of you might at this point say do you know what this is more than good enough for me i'm happy to go with this then great in 10 minutes your hair's done in fact it might be even less than 10 minutes if you've got like finer hair if you've got shorter hair but for now like for me it took 10 minutes so now i will go in with the shine shot and i'll just show you the next stage so again i'm going to switch it on in fact i'll wait for the engine to drive and then i'll change it to shine shot So imagine you've just done your first section now. You see? So when you press the shine shot, it actually turns off the drying element because now you're just styling it. So this is where you get to straighten your hair more and it will add more of a shine than it already has. You could just do it from here, like as is, but if you want to be extra, I would recommend sectioning it again. So I'm going to section it just to show you what I do. Don't worry too much about kinks because you are kind of going to straighten it out again. But I'm just gonna roughly section it just to show you what I do. Okay, now in this case, you literally just use it like a hair straightener. So again, you can just brush out the section, just grab a bit and use it as if you were using a hair straightener. Now in this bit, like, trust me, before it got hot, but this bit, it can get hot, hot, because like I said, it's like using a hair straightener. If you want to make your life easier, just use the comb and then do it like this so that you're not actually touching your hair. It's so hard because I'm trying to use the camera as a mirror, but then I also have another mirror then drop the top bit doing this obviously takes less than drying the actual hair so if the drying of the hair took about 10 minutes with my length and thickness then i would say this bit will probably take five minutes but if you really want to be neat about it just add an extra five so really by in 20 minutes time your hair is dried and straightened Hopefully you can see that's a lot straighter now and more sleeker. Now I'll do the rest without talking so that I can get it done quicker. And to switch off, you just pull the button down. It comes with one of these, by the way, like a rubber sleeve. So just use it for, you don't burn your like table, dressing table or your floor. So then again, I just brush through it. Okay, so you can see that my hair is definitely sleeker than before. And it's quite straight. And you can see it's very shiny. It feels very soft and smooth to the touch as well if you like straight hair this is your ha hair done i personally am more of a wave girl 
So I'm just going to finish the rest of my hair and I will come back to you. So I just put some, just a little bit of wave in it, not anything drastic, just so that I have a bit, I feel like a little bit of wave suits my face, but I've just put something very low key in because it's raining very heavily today. So even if I did drastic curls, it would probably drop by the end of the night. So some pros and cons of using this. Firstly, the weight. I've spoken about it before. It is quite heavy. So if that's a deal breaker for you, bear that in mind. Like I said, it's not so heavy that you feel like you have to start stretching out your arm mid styling your hair. You can do your whole hair without needing to take a rest, but afterwards you will feel it in your wrist and arm. Another pro is like I said, when you section your hair, it really glides. So you don't feel that dragging or pulling sensation. The paddle itself is very, very big. So it's great for people like myself who have long hair, who have thick hair, because you can get a lot in one grip, if that makes sense. I guess it's also good for people with fine hair and maybe you'll be able to do your hair quicker because it's so wide. But because it's so wide, it could be a good and a bad thing because for those with shorter hair, I don't know how effective it would be considering the size. So if any of you who are watching have the GHD Duet Styler, it'd be really good to know your opinion and how it works for you, whether it works, whether it doesn't, and how you get on with it basically. Um, another pro is that it comes with this sleeve. Um, I think it's a very, very good idea. You just slip it on very easy and then you've got some heat protective cover for it. The sound is... I guess it could be a con, but I'm not so fussed about the sound because like I said, for me, when I get ready, I like to watch videos and I can easily turn up the volume and still hear my hear what's being said, even with this on. Otherwise, I just put subtitles on, but I don't know about using it like dead in the night. What I will say is, it's how can I describe it? It's quieter than hair dryer, in my opinion. I mean, obviously it depends. If you're a very quiet, quiet hair dryer, it'll be louder than that. But generally I would say it's quieter than a hair dryer. I really like the shine shot element. When I use this styler, what I find is that my hair does last long, like longer. So generally I can get by two days of not washing my hair. But on the second day, I do feel like it's slightly less fresh, if you know what I mean. I think that's the one thing that encourages me to wash my hair daily, even if it's not good for your hair is that I just really love that fresh feeling. There's nothing that beats that fresh feel, fresh feeling when you first done your hair straight after a wash. But when I use this GHD styler, I do feel like my hair feels fresher for longer. So on the second day, it still feels as fresh. It still feels quite, uh, it still looks quite styled because you've gone to great lengths to make that effort to style it and section it and dry it and do the shine shot. So I feel like that does make a difference. Do I feel like it's worth the investment? Yes, because I do feel like if you can get your hair done in 15 minutes to 20 minutes, where you dry, to, dry and straighten it, then it's worth it. Do I feel like it's a must and you must and you absolutely need it in your life? No. I feel like it would benefit those with hair people who have hair similar to me with long hair people with um thick hair people you know where normally it would take you ages to dry your hair then straighten it then curl it for example then i think it saves you a lot of time so in that regard it is an investment even if it's not cheap i have used it quite a few times enough to know that i do like it enough to know that even if i don't use it all the time i do i will still use it quite regularly enough to get my money's worth out of it and i like it enough to not want to return it if that makes sense but i use it with my ghd hair straighteners i use it with my dyson so they kind of like are a collaboration and they just go hand in hand together so let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the whole process? Did you feel like it was long winded? What did you think of the final outcome? Obviously you saw my hair was straight before I gave it a wave. I personally like a little bit of zhuzh in my hair, but you know, what do you think of the end finish, the shine? And yeah, let me know your thoughts, especially if you have a GHD duet two in one styler at home. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you want me to do more hair content. I usually don't do any hair content, even though I enjoy doing my makeup. I 
less enjoy doing my hair, although I do make an effort with my hair. And ironically, I get complimented on my hair a lot. So let me know if you enjoy this content and I can do more. For example, I have the Dyson hair straightener. I think it's a Corel. And I'm happy to demo that if you would like to see how it works. I can compare it to the GHD, for example. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have an amazing week and thanks for watching. Take care.